Jain here on India today. My big question, do you have enough supplies? It's a question that is being asked everywhere. You're a consumer state. Given the lockdown, 21 days, how will you ensure, how are you ensuring that people will get food and other essential goods, Mr. Chief Minister? We are well equipped to deal with the situation. We have enough stocks of food grains and essential commodities that is enough and more for more than three months. So the possibility of panic buying is also totally ruled out. So you're saying you have enough stock to last this entire period, no problem with that. The other fear, Mr. Chief Minister, is that in the coming weeks, there will be an exponential increase in the number of positive cases. We've already seen Kerala's cases rise manifold in the last few days. Does your healthcare system have the capacity to meet the challenge if, these, uh, if there is an explosion in the number of coronavirus cases? Based on our experiences, thus far and the steps taken so far, we do not foresee on exponential growth. However, we are geared up to meet any eventuality. Buildings are being taken over and systems are being put in place to ensure adequate quarantine, isolation, observation, medical assistance, facilities. All these things are being done. Already 1,60,556 beds have been arranged and 20% of these have been specifically reserved for this. Additional beds are also being mobilized. Adequate number of ICUs, ventilators, etc. also are being arranged. As you are aware, we have clamped down a lockout all over the state on Monday itself. This is prior to the announcement of the national lockdown announced by the Prime Minister on Tuesday. We have done everything possible to see that the spread is curbed with these steps. You know, it's interesting, uh, Mr. Chief Minister, you're saying that you announced a complete state lockdown on Monday itself. That's a day ahead of the Prime Minister's announcement. You know, I said this last week, what Kerala thinks today, India thinks tomorrow. And one of the things that you've been pushing for is aggressive testing. You're testing more than most other Indian states. Do you believe that aggressive testing, as the World Health Organization suggests, is the right way forward? Do we have enough testing kits for Corona? And is that the reason why we are not being able to increase the testing? Because at the moment, we still don't have enough testing kits. Tests in Kerala is happening at a rate which is unmatched by any other state. In a health emergency like this, we feel that this should be expedited. Also, government of India should decide on rapid testing as well, instead of the PCR tests now adopted. Approval of testing centers, etc., are done by government of India. Kerala government has rolled out a rupees 20,000 crore special package to overcome this COVID-19 pandemic. It takes on inclusive view and ensures that no one is left behind. It covers a health package, loan assistance scheme, welfare pensions, MNREGs, free food grains, subsidized meals, tax relief, and area clearance. One of the major elements in this list is the loan assistance program. Loans worth rupees 2,000 crore will be made available to families with the help of Kudumbasri. The most important point with regard to this is that the interest of those loans will be borne by the state. Such loans have helped many families to make a comeback in the period after the floods.